Hello my lovelies, it's Helen here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing random rainbows with random patterns on it too. So let's get started. First things first, I've got to remove the old crystals and I had a bit of a tough time removing them, but we got there in the end. And now I need to remove all the shellac color on the nails and expose the nude colored acrylic underneath. So I'm using my carbide bit and uh, on a medium speed and that's helping me remove the shellac without any problem at all. Once I've worked through all 10 nails with my carbide bit, I then swap over to my arbor band and start prepping the natural nail, removing any cuticle with that bit as well, and then smoothing over the entire nail with the same bit. This process can get a little dusty, so when I've done all 10 nails, I'm left with a lot of dust on my desk, but I just sweep it up into my new desk event. Now I'm ready to apply my nude coloured acrylic on the cuticle part. This is just basically a refill of this set, and then on top of it, we are going to do a coloured acrylic design. So when refilling, I just apply a cuticle bead close to the cuticle, pat it into place, making sure it's where it's meant to be, and then I just brush it over the entire nail, making sure it flows seamlessly into the old acrylic. The more smooth and perfect your application is, the less filing you will have to do afterwards when the time comes to finish file all your nails. So make sure when you're applying your acrylic you do take your time and check the nail from all angles making sure the application is perfect from a 360 view all the way around the nail. While the acrylic is wet you can see there's still a sheen on it and I like to use that as my reference to see how smooth the application is. Usually from the reflection of the light you can see if there are any lumps or bumps or dips in the acrylic which you can then use your brush to either smooth over or come back with another bead and fill in any lumps or bumps which are in the nail. So can you see now how the nail is nice and shiny? And that's what I'm using as my reference to see how smooth the nail is flowing over the entire length of the nail. Because these nails are extra long, the refill bead which I'm using close to the cuticle is larger than what it would have been if say if somebody came in and they had a third of the length of this, what this client does. So make sure you adjust your acrylic bead according to the nail size that you have to work with. After I finished all my acrylic application, I then move on to filing and shaping the nails. So I'm using a 180 grit file to shape and file the free edge. But with really long nails, I also like to file the, the long free edge in a downwards motion like I am now. I prefer hand filing the free edge with really long nails because I feel I have better control in achieving the perfect shape as opposed to using the e-file to achieve the shaping on the free edge. But this doesn't mean I don't use my e-file at all because I love swapping over to my e-file to complete the finish filing around the cuticle. As you can see you can get right up nice and close to the cuticle using your arbor band as opposed to a hand file. So I make sure to finish the cuticle area by using the e-file and arbor band and then I just quickly run it over the free edge as well. I'm getting rid of the dust and we're getting ready for some fun art now. So the brief on this design was random rainbow with emphasis on the random. <laughs> so I'm using rainbow colors and splashing them onto the nail in random locations and then I'm going to use my ombre brush and blend in the colors so they look like they're ombreing into each other. As you ombre and swap from colour to colour, make sure you wipe your brush onto a, a paper towel so you don't contaminate the following colour with a third colour. You only want the two colours to mix. And this is kind of hard when you're doing so many colours so close together. So do take your time and try and blend them as well as you possibly can. Now once I'm happy with my blend of colours, I'm going to swap over to my cleanup brush which is dipped in some acetone and I'm going to neaten up the edges where all my colours finish. I was being a bit risky when I was doing these rainbow random designs because I wasn't curing as I moved along. So the one, the ring finger which I just completed isn't cured. So if I accidentally touch it or knock it, I will be ruining it, but luckily I didn't. So I'm moving on and I, I realized that blending with the actual brush that came with the gel polish bottle, I found it easier. But to do it, uh, you have to make sure that your brush is on the dry side. So almost like dry brushing, but not quite that dry. And again, when I finish the next two nails, I'm neatening up the edges of these random rainbows. 
and once they're nice and neat and how I want them I'm going to cure them in my LED light for a full minute. Once they're cured I'm going to do some hand painted nail art and I'm going to need some black and gold gel paint. So the randomness will continue with the hand painting nail art. Here I'm going to add some leopard spots and I'm using gold as the base. And once that dries I'm then going to border the gold spots with some black lines to emphasize the leopard spots over this rainbow. After curing the finished leopard spots I'm then going to add smaller just black leopard spots in between the bigger ones but making sure they're smaller. So the randomness continues on this nail I am bordering the smile line with some black gel polish and then I'm adding zebra stripes just over the rainbow part of this nail. When that's done I'm also going to cure it in my LED light as well to lock that design in place. With the rest of the rainbows I'm just going to border the outside of them with some black lines and I feel this helps the design stand out from the actual nude coloured acrylic which is underneath. When I'm happy and finished with all my black detailing I cure the nails and now it's time to add some bling. All the big Zorowski crystals I am securing to the nail by using some acrylic. Here I've placed it and I'm waiting for the acrylic to harden so it holds the stone securely in place and then I'm going to use more acrylic to sort of fill in that gap that's in between the crystal and the nail. This will make sure no hair gets caught underneath and accidentally rips the crystal off the nail. Then using some nail glue I'm going to further secure some smaller crystals to not only this nail but the rest of the nails as well. I wait for my nail glue to dry completely and then I add some precision glue from Glitz Accessories and such. This actually helps to further secure the border of each of these crystals so they actually stay on the nail for a really long time. You need to cure the precision glue to make sure it holds them in place and then you're right to apply your no wipe top coat on all the nails. Once you have applied your top coat to all the nails that's going to need curing in your LED light for a full minute and then this set will be ready for reveal. And here is the completed random rainbow design. What do you think of it? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this set. If you like this video go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos I put out. So that's it for today's video my lovelies. But in the meantime, if you want to watch another video, YouTube recommends this one for you, while I recommend this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.